Hello my beautiful and lovely gamers, my name is Jonal, I was actually trying to make a video on dive comp, um, I haven't figured out how to shorten that down or how to explain that in a proper way, um, so I would like to ask you guys how, uh, how much do you guys actually want to see a video or multiple videos explaining dive on a much higher level, on a much more detailed and well yeah a higher level and more, way more advanced and complex version than just leap something and kill it. Um, how much do you guys want to see that because uh, then it might take multiple videos or I will have to put in like way more hours in trying to make make an explanation that makes sense because I want to make everyone understand it while same time not make the videos 50 fucking hours long. Um, so please tell me down in the comment section or on Discord where you can tag me at Journal and then tell me if you're interested or not in that type of video. Now, today we're actually talking about something different, and I'm sick, so I'm very sorry for my voice. I fucked up. It's it's my bad. It was it was well worth getting sick for, but I'm still fucking sick. Um, so today we're talking about because I've been playing League of Legends with my friends. Yes, believe it or not, I know someone, some of you guys are now shaking your heads in disappointment. But yes, I've been playing some League with my friends, and in League of Legends, if you've never played it, there's a ban system where essentially. Both sides, so 10 players, get a ban each. Ban one champion. And ranked and so on. And I was thinking a little bit, hmm, wonder how that goes for Overwatch. Now, logically, you can't have 12 bans in Overwatch. Because all of a sudden, like, half, the, like, you can ban, no joke, like, all here, just all healers then. At that point, right? Um, so I was thinking, um, how would it be if we implemented a, you can ban one hero. Both teams can ban one hero each where it would be some kind of voting system, essentially, you apply who do you want to ban, and then uh, everyone does that, and then you vote for those heroes, and you can't vote for your own hero, essentially, the one that you decided, and if everyone, for some reason, votes for a separate hero, then you get a chance to change your vote, and if you don't change your vote before the timer runs out, then the computer just chooses one of those randomly. I think that's the best way for me, essentially, to implement that. If not, then it's like... Uh, you give one guy the, the, the role as like team captain or team banner or whatever and he then chooses what hero he wants to ban. I just imagine that would be way more trolling. And how would that actually um, affect the meta? I think that, that was that was incredibly a, a fun uh, discussion. I would like to hear your opinion. What do you guys think down in the comments? As always, I read your comments and I love the input and I love to get a different perspective from it. So how I am imagining this would actually work is that in rank, you would just ban whatever is quote-unquote broken. Essentially, whatever Reddit set tells you is broken would get banned. Meaning, Brigitte would be banned when she was released. Mara would be banned when she was released, right? And so on. Essentially, you just ban whatever people don't like to play against or whatever people think is kind of cancer to play against. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if you would see Widowmaker bans. Um, especially, I wouldn't be surprised if there would be some people that would ban Widowmaker because they didn't want a Widowmaker on their team, um, and so on. That 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 would not surprise me if people would actually would waste their bans like that. Um, but how I think that it will work towards the pro meta and so on is banning of main tanks, especially because as soon as you you ban a main tank, you essentially start denying a lot of it. Uh, team compositions are explained from their main tank. Normally, we take a look at the main tank, so. Winston means dive, Ryan means a death ball or goat, which still is a death ball, and then Orisa means poke comp, right? Uh, that's normally the, how we look at, at team compositions, because the, the, the main tank is the enabler for a lot of team compositions. So, for example, we would deny that ban by, by banning Winston, which would be super, super cool if this was like something that had happened, let's say, three months ago to implement the ban system, because then Hammond comes... And all of a sudden, it's like, oh, you're going to ban Winston and try to deny dive, but we're just going to dive with Hammond instead. And then would that would swap up the entire ban meta. Okay, do we ban D.Va at that point? But then they can still dive with Hammond. But by banning D.Va, we are weakening their, their presence in the main group when they have done the executed the dive. Um, uh, and I think that would be really cool. And I think that that would be one of the things that you would see a lot of people just like, we just ban Winston and deny <laughs> at least uh, the formal version of dive um the night goats by removing uh, the reinhardt or even removing the brigitte from it or maybe removing with saria to deny uh, standard two to two death balls to get played um logically as soon as you ban a hero you cannot play it either so if you are a team that relies a lot on let's say goats death ball then you could ban the enemy team's dive comp if you were if you were really good at two to two you could ban dive essentially, or try to ban dive, to be allowed to play a more freer version 
On top of that, I think that when it comes to banning DPS, this would especially go on to like Overwatch League, where you know certain players are really good or something. Um, it would most likely be removal of tr of certain Widowmaker players, just because with removing the Widowmaker player, it would allow your team to play f with so much more space, since you're not getting zoned by the sniper. Uh, also, removing certain Tracer players to be allowed to put far more emphasis on a... Uh, so we don't have to put as much resources protecting our backline or being scared that our backline is going to collapse on us. Uh, I think that would be also one of the things that would be happening. And that's when I, I, I started wondering, well, if we if there's a ban on Tracers, does that mean that Break would be played less? Especially if we start like denying certain team compositions, would a Break ban be necessary? Um, would they play her for um, for self or just in general main, main group stabilization even though she's really strong and Tracer would that be a thing um, or, or would people start playing less Brigitte uh, so if you remove the Ryan for example and you can't play Goats anymore would people still specif specifically play Dive with Break to just to have a stronger main group than the opposing team or would that be something that people were not interested in anymore if you, if you remove certain uh, counters or certain essentially team composition that can be played. Um, logically, again, I think that certain just just certain players would they would remove their specialized heroes, which could be really really terrible for some players that are on the team because of one or two heroes that they are used to playing. Um, and I would like to see almost like a league where um, they they specifically know that guy is really good on these heroes. Or these champions, that would be try to remove some of his champions. Uh, I would really like to see like someone that is like a tracer widowmaker player only, really. Like they, that's their specialization. If pe pe people would do targeted bans against that one player, spend their one ban to target one of his playstyles. And how would the coaches of a team? Uh, what do we have to then make backup team compositions? Like, okay, if they ban our widow, we need to play the tracer instead. And at that point, we need to adapt certain players. Uh, I think that the workload would then increase severely for the players, which might have uh, see far more, you know, uh, working, you know, on the toes and so on. On top of that, uh, far more experimental team composition would probably come out from teams since it'd be like, okay, they, they are expecting us to play this, and therefore they would probably try to shut it down by banning this zero. So instead of that, we are going to play Doomfist Sombra because they, they would never expect us to play Doomfist and Sombra. Um, then I'm going over to their support like banning supports I think it would be like ban break to give a week to give them and us a weaker main group if we don't play with break anyway um, So for example, okay, we are, we want to play 2-2-2 heavy dive with Genji Tracer uh, Winston and uh, and Diva. okay ban break that way they don't have stuns then they don't have a st as strong main group and that can be easy for us um, on top of that, okay, ban sun. No transcendence for either team. So uh, we can play far more with Dragon Blades. Even though we don't have our own Dragon Blade, now we don't have our own transcendence either, we can play with Dragon Blades. So maybe, okay, but then we'll play with Ana. Then we'll just play for Nano Blades, constantly play for Nano Blades. And it doesn't matter if they try to adapt over to a Genji, um, because we still, then they will also have to adapt one of their players over to a. Um, to to uh, to an Ana. So can you imagine like uh, Soul Dynasty, for example, banning Sinyata so Regen can play Ana, and then you can play with a Lucio or whatever. You absolutely need a saving grace, and then you have Nano Blades coming out from, for example, Fleta, and you also and then you have standard dive comp coming in from them and removing a Tracer player, uh, for example, against NYXL, so that Jonak is not allowed to play his his godlike Sinyata. I think that could be really really fucking cool. Uh, wait a minute right now. In the end, I don't want the ban system to be implemented in Overwatch just because, even though I think it would be fun and a interesting meta shift, um, I personally believe that Overwatch is fun and really exciting because um, you could do uh, exactly whatever you want with any team composition you want without having to care about you know the enemy team can mirror our team compositions, but they can't. If we just have, if you just played really well, we can normally pull off a lot of shit, um, and I think that's one of the fun things about Overwatch. Then again. Uh, it would be fun to see that it would make a whole new layer into competitive play um, with the meta and so on. I think it would be abused a little bit too much in ranked, though. Uh, I think it would be kind of cancer from time to time. But that's my opinion. I would like to hear your down in the comment section below. Remember to tell me if you want to see dive videos uh, or not, explaining more about that. Besides that, guys, I'll try to get better now since I'm ill. Uh, I'll talk to you guys later. You guys, as always, please take care of yourselves. Stay positive. I love you guys very, very much. My name has been Jordan. Keep the enemy in your crosshair.